take a moment and look around the room you're in. Chances are, somewhere near the ceiling you will find one of these. The fire alarm was initially developed in the 1890s by Francis Robbins Upton, an associate of Thomas Edison. They continue to play a vital role in early fire detection and have evolved greatly over time. Here are six things you should keep in mind about fire alarms. First, never ignore an alarm. Whether it be your office building, apartment complex, or hotel, you should always be prepared to evacuate when the alarm sounds. While false alarms can be common in some buildings, they should always be taken seriously and investigated. Second, how are fire alarms set off? There are usually two primary methods by which fire alarm systems are activated. The first is the manual activation, usually by a pulse station. In the event of a fire, manual devices require an initiation by an occupant. The second method is automatic activation, usually triggered by a smoke or heat detector. While we are on the point of detectors, it is worth mentioning another very important category of detector. Third, carbon monoxide detectors. Carbon monoxide is an invisible killer. While you can get a dedicated carbon monoxide detector, some devices have both smoke and carbon monoxide detection built in. This odorless gas continues to be a large threat to both commercial and residential buildings, especially during the colder months. Without proper detection, carbon monoxide can be deadly. So if you have any fuel burning appliances, be sure to have a carbon monoxide detector. Fourth, fire alarm monitoring. Not all fire alarms are connected to a monitoring station. This means some systems still rely on hearing the horns and calling the fire department. So in the event of a fire, always be sure to call the fire department to be sure they are sending help. Fifth, codes and legislation. Fire alarm systems are very code driven and regulated. Most states require some type of license and training to service them. This helps ensure systems are properly serviced and up to code. Six, know how to exit. In the event of a fire, it is important to have a plan in place. You should always know where multiple exits are in case one is blocked. For instance, a large number of commercial buildings and hotels will have some sort of chart noting multiple exit routes. Look, we've all been there. You're sitting at your desk one afternoon and the building's fire alarm starts going off. It's loud, annoying, and you have a lot to do so you ignore it. Little do you know, a fire has broken out downstairs and every moment is crucial. Fire alarms serve a vital and essential purpose, so next time you hear one go off, take a moment to check before writing it off as a false alarm.